into a bikini with a cover up, of course, because we want to be modest. It's your favorite people. And this is trending outfit for today. You know, my girl is giving me It's my birthday in Greece, and Dorian has a present to surprise me with. The yum yum, the purple. Ooh, this dress a show the front, show the front, show the front, show the front, guys. <laughs> guys, we're just doing a little dress up, trying on all the all the numbers as girly pops. Oh, this dress is giving. It I is feel like I want it in all colors now. Bro, what the heck? <laughs> Do we should get one on March one day. Yeah, we should. We should get one. Of we should match that slaps, bro. That looks so freaking. This is my first time in that outfit. It's not my first time because I just love to wear it, and I can't wait to wear it for real. Amazing. So it's. I think it's nine o'clock, but I'm not sure. In case you've just, <laughs> in case you've just seen that, don't worry. There's an explanation as the video goes on. I'll check some time. But yeah, I'm just gonna brush my teeth and we're gonna go down to breakfast. It ends at 10, so we have like an hour window to stuff our faces. Side note, does anyone else's face like faces. puff up like that? Like when they wake so, up, what the yeah. heck? We said we were gonna go at eight, but you know what? You know what's good in times like this is when you set like an earlier date so that even if you're late, you're not that late. I'm not even focusing because of how tired my eyes are, but I didn't even discuss what was going on in my head so basically I didn't even bring any like bonnet or scarf so I had to make one out of a shirt <laughs> it's so cute isn't it I need some lotion for my face but I don't actually know if I packed any I think the only moisturizing thing I packed is bio oil and don't get me wrong I do love me some bio oil Give you that glowy look. holding this camera upside down but we move anyways look what i've taken with me a breakfast i took this from the buffet because we don't know when next we'll be eating i think the next time we'll be eating is dinner because we'll probably go out for dinner so i just like let's have a little snacky snacky plate just in case you can never be too sure like they only do breakfast here because it's off season so like it's not all inclusive when it's off season which is such a bummer because i wish we came when it was all inclusive but oh whoopsie not much you can do about that just just take it as it comes today the itinerary i think is to um 
I'm waiting for Dwayne Wright, by the way. That's why the lift is making so much noise because she's asking about the bus schedule. But the plan for today is to go into, um, to go where? Gosh, I blanked out. <laughs> the plan for today is to, oh, there's a fast festival happening in town. So we'll go in, see what the old town's about. And then after that, we'll, um, what's happening after the what's old town festival? The oh, gosh, guys, I don't know why I'm so spaced out. But this and this is making noise. I'm just gonna step out. But um, okay, yeah, the festival in town, and then we'll have a look about the old town and have like dinner somewhere, find like cute bar or something to have small plates and dinner. But yeah, I think I'll just sit here whilst I wait for her. Isn't that so cute? Guys, it's so cute here, but it's so empty because everybody's busy. Like nobody's on holiday right now, but we're on holiday because we have a very interesting. I'm just going closer to the window to have a look. We have a very interesting time schedule. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about? That TikTok trend where it's like the girl who's gonna be okay in the end. I'm gonna give you a shoot. <laughs> with that makeup and if, if you think that Guys, refers only to cars on and places that you can go on vacation go check it out a bigger definition of god i'm watching a sermon because it's sunday and this we, we've not gone to church so i'm watching a sermon instead Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh, but the only thing, guys, is I don't know if you can That's see. The concealer does look quite light. Oh, I'm still learning. The Charlotte Motor Speedway. I'll fix that. I'll take Somehow. Right that one's so still in bed. She's trying to clear oh, her Josh, storage. This is what it's looking like outside. It actually looks quite now, sunny today. Even though the pole's empty. And, the and there's no beach chairs out because it's off season. Yo so guys um i literally just explained this on my snapchat vlog but i'm gonna say it again because you guys deserve to hear it too <laughs> it's not that juicy piece it's not that juicy but i was literally just saying that um i was shooting like some tiktoks and stuff and get ready was <laughs> grooms i was filming some grooms some get ready with me and it was time to leave right we have to catch the bus at 1 30 something and then i'm at the lift and i realized my phone's on seven percent and the entire time i was shooting content i had in my mind oh my gosh you need to plug your phone but i forgot it so i can't leave obviously in a foreign country without a charged phone so I, we had to go back inside and charge my phone so yeah i'm charging it now <laughs> but yeah we can leave in like 10 minutes i'm gonna look around till the next bus which comes at three or oh, three that's literally evening i know it's not but it's like i really wanted to be out and about early you know but it's okay because we'll be out quite till late till like dinner it's actually oh god is so good isn't he he's just too good bro like what the actual heck God is too good, guys. You know when we what? were looking at the weather, right, from back home? It was giving winter. It was giving no. But, guys, God showed up and out. We've been praying. The weather is so good today. Like, I don't even need a jacket. I'm just taking one out of courtesy because it gets colder at night. So, it's like, but the weather is so good. And I feel like we're going to have so much fun this week. But, yeah, back to my nose. I didn't really explain it. I don't know if you guys experience this. If anyone experiences their nose getting really stuffy and, like, okay, not stuffy, but, like, feeling the need to sneeze, like, one after the other. Like, you sneeze, but you can feel, like, a sneeze, like, stuck in your nose. I don't understand it. Can someone tell me what it is? Like, what is it? And if you... I don't know. It only started, like, when I went back home. Um yeah from school like in the mornings or like afternoons my nose is just so sneezy and it's still happening here and 
whenever I do my makeup as well because when I sneeze my eyes are involved my nose involved my ears are involved like my eyes get so watery like gosh I'm probably gonna cut this out because I'm rambling so much about my nose and sneezing nobody cares but actually maybe you do care maybe you can tell me what it is so I can fix it anyways bye I record when we're out and about along the festival it was really cute and fun and then we kind of walked around it and found that we had nothing to do so we just kind of stood around for a bit like <laughs> not knowing what to do and we prayed we were like god what do you want us to do like what should we do next that's fun and then i don't know look, there was a sea over here so i was like let's walk over here and there is a sea and it's so cute but like we still really don't know what to do we I don't and then it just stops and then there's mountains here yeah but i was saying the cross over there looks really cool and cute i actually don't know if you guys can see it but it looks so wait let me zoom in i feel like there's some cute stuff going on over there but i can't really like see but yeah i never like <laughs> been on holiday and not knowing what to do i'm usually like a schedule packed girl like we're doing this then we're doing this but it's a week so we have a lot of time and it's not even like summer season so a lot of the stuff we can't do but i don't know it's still nice to have that chill vibes but it's just like what do we do what do we do it is guys we were just saying like we love we love corfu but we feel like it's even much more of a vibe when it's like i hope i meet the love of my life here random <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> you know how like they speak in British accents here? Like, oh my gosh, guys, it's just the like the most attractive thing ever. Like, I just find it so attractive when I hear like, do you know not the like London, you know, yo, what's up, B? Like, Hello, not that like accent. A classic, like, yeah, like, like English. Woo! It's like, dude, <laughs> I just love it. I'm just like, oh it's my like, god, yes, kind sir. But yeah. but yeah, we were talking about like possibly coming back when it's hot and we love the hotel that we're staying at and it's like way cheap because it's off season. Yeah. But if it was like um summer, it's like a K and a bit more. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a hefty sum. K. Yeah, so we were like, we'd love to come back, but since we're still young and traveling, we obviously want to like visit other places. Other places and then but come yeah, back here. when we're older, we can come but back. Yeah, and Diane said that she'd come back with, oh, wait, what were you going to say? No, no, say it, say it. Diane <laughs> said that she'd come back with her like, Man's yeah. yeah, and I was thinking when she said that I was like, um, I'd probably come back on my own or like I don't know. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? It'd be crazy if we came yeah, back with our man. Like <laughs> that would be crazy. But guys, no, like hundred percent, coffee is definitely on my list. It's oh just so God. beautiful and the people it's are so, so beautiful. People are so sweet and nice. Like we right. asked this one guy right at the bus stop. Like, um, oh. Like, just ask him, oh, is this the right bus up? And he proceeds to tell us more, and like, the last bus is this. And then even when we got on the bus, he was like, still telling us to the end, like, oh, make sure you come here, make sure, like, people are so helpful. Apart from like, when we're in the airport, do you remember that? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's such a horrible experience, but. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, wait, wow. so we can walk down, we can walk all the way round. That's mad. Wow. That is so good. That is good. So we actually have found our activity, we're just walking around. It's so good. Yeah, cool. Wait, let me turn around and show you. It's so nice. But um but look where God has led us. He's so cute and sweet. Like, wow. You know what I love about the world is that it's God's world. Like it's actually God's world. So wherever I go, he's there with me, and he just like, oh, he's just such a good God. Like wherever we go on this planet, it's God's planet, so he's with us and he moves things in our favours because we're his daughters. I'm like, just in awe, like every time I see something like this, I'm just like, wow, he was so intentional, like in every speck of dust every sand on the beach like he was just like oh my gosh like you made it so it just could look so beautiful like oh my god there was 
what's crazy about this is it's God's and like he said that he gave us dominion over the earth so yeah. we have dominion over his kingdom so in any stretch of land like not we're not separated by culture not separated by none of that forget it every stretch of land we can have dominion in because yeah. God gave us dominion because it's his and he can move mountains wherever like I don't know. love mountains <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so basically I got my jacket, yeah. I got my you know top and then I got my jeans and I got my shoes. Slay. Slay. Guys, I was too scared to come back to this vlog because <laughs> I told you guys we were gonna go and get food, but everywhere it's actually closed. And it's funny because I was glad and not about how I didn't have an appetite. <laughs> but this walk has brought out my appetite. I'm actually hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And we're well hungry. Really hungry, mommy. Um, yeah. So there's actually nothing open, so we're not able to get any foods, really. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Twenty-four hours later. Guys, I've been a terrible vlogger today, but don't worry. I'll insert some clips from the bar. <laughs> We went out. I don't know if I told you guys, but today was a very much like we couldn't like it was raining. We just got back from breakfast and went straight to sleep. Literally straight to <clears throat> bro. So like obviously no. And then oh yeah, we did today. I yeah. We did and then we were feeling like sad about the weather and i was like i don't know my mood was all over the place so i like journaled because like i was like i need to talk to god like whenever i'm feeling this way it's because i'm like far away from him and i'm not like talking to him properly mm -hmm. so i journaled and then like god basically told me he was like you're finding your joy in places you shouldn't find it the only place where you should find your joy is in me and that's the problem like your circumstances shouldn't like determine how you feel it's, your joy should be found in the Lord and I basically tried to basically called us ungrateful yeah because I prayed for this holiday God provided and I'm on this holiday and because it's raining I'm feeling like oh my god I hate it I hate it so much like it was actually getting to a point where I was like why am I here this hotel is empty this town is empty everything is closed because it's not the right time but God was just like you know there needs to be rain in order for for um, plants to bear fruit. As much as they need sunshine, they need rain. If there wasn't any rain, it would be a ghost town. There'd be famine. There wouldn't be any food. But in Dubai. yeah, so I don't know. I think we should be grateful for. If anyone's going through something right now and things aren't looking how you want them to, it's like find your joy in the Lord because it wouldn't change. God doesn't change. God remains the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow, and every forever. single yeah, forever. But things will change. You might be rich today, but tomorrow you could be poor. You might be poor today, tomorrow you'd be rich. Those things change, but you should have joy no matter your circumstance. And with that, I'm gonna say I had a lovely day. So when I actually realized that, you know, my joy comes from the Lord and nothing around me else, nothing else. That's when I was like, you know, I'm gonna have a good day today because God woke me up today. God gave me life. God gave me a breath of air. So I'm gonna wake up. And uh -huh. we had a lovely time. A lovely, lovely time. I know, I have to take on makeup. Yeah, that's why I actually started recording Guys, today. wait, let me show you her base. Oh my gosh, like, and then look at my base. It's like, eating, it actually is. But yeah, it's just sad that we have it to is. take this off. But we're gonna watch a movie. Yeah. I took over her vlog, sorry, Elwa. I'm gonna use a cleanse. I wanna get a cleansing balm for when I go back to uni. Let's. One more time. <gasps> Five. <laughs> one more time for the beat, guys. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Oh! No way, I'm so sad. Go. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave my lip gloss on. Can't even do it if I'm washing my face, actually. <laughs> Guys, I really want it to okay. not let go. This is what I use. <laughs> Boris, I feel like this, take some of this. this face scrub's been in my Thanks, family for generations. Like, whenever I went to my granny's, this is always in the cupboard in the bathroom. Ooh! 
It smells so good. It does. So I like to do this to kind of get the ingredients activated. on its last legs what i do is i then do like a toner and then i do this retinol i don't do it every night oh my gosh she's supposed to do retinol with sun cream i don't have my sun cream Whoops. No. and then i use my bio oil with whatever like lotion i'm using on my face guys you can tell i don't know what i'm doing i'm just, no i know how to watch my face obviously but <laughs> do you know what i mean like Koreans say it's good, it's good. Yeah, Koreans are the masters of skincare, babe. And I trust them. Apparently it makes your skin firmer and it like um gets the blood flow, which is good for co collagen and stuff. So and then I'm gonna just mix the bio oil. At this point, bio oil should sponsor me. Um, you know, first of a body cream. I'm still getting there, guys. You know, you know, you know. I've always wanted to be that skincare girly and it's like my self-care like at home my favorite part of the day was like getting my makeup off at night before i went to bed i had a whole routine of i'd get my makeup off like and then i'd brush my teeth go downstairs and get a large glass of cold water or refill my bottle like my three liter bottle and then go to bed with a cup of tea and read my book or whatever i was reading and I always looked forward to it. I like routine. Routine is my favorite thing in the entire world. Just in case you guys wanted to see how I tie my scarf. <laughs> I just feel we'll like have fun. I don't know. We will. So guys, we're literally so we're talking sad. about. I don't want to ruin my makeup. Not but. being happy. <laughs> not being happy because of our circumstances. Like, okay, we've booked a holiday. I think we keep discussing this, but we booked a holiday. We expected it to be a fun time, a whole week, like in Corfu, resort stay. Like you know, the entire time, even before we got here, I, th I thought the pool was gonna be up. I oh thought there gosh. was going to be beach chairs, guys. And we arrive in this There's hotel. There's nobody in the hotel. It's empty. We're the only ones. It's empty. And I feel like everywhere we go, people are looking at us like, oh, What are they doing here? Because like, we're foreigners, so everyone knows we're on holiday. And they know that like it's not the time that people normally come yeah. on holiday. And the way we're dressed too. Like, yeah, we dress yeah. like we're on holiday. And it's like, like look at me. I'm wearing look shorts. The oh. <laughs> Look Sorry. at the fear, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's not giving. It's not. But we're talking about how, like, God provided for this holiday. He, like, even though we booked it spontaneously, we actually booked it in a very stupid way. We were sat in a coffee shop. But just, we learned, We bro. didn't even we look. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't even look for much options. We just clicked, oh, coffee. Coffee. Oh, like, yeah, we didn't yeah, think it twice. Okay. Just put our bank details. And then when we realized it was a very dumb decision, we couldn't cancel the holiday. Bro, we tried. And we couldn't. We, could, we tried <laughs> everything. We <gasps> could not cancel the holiday. Yeah, bro. So um, we were like, God provided, but I feel like he's trying to teach us something. I bet you and somewhere in the Bible it says being doing these spontaneous things is Proverbs, a sin. Proverbs is probably going to cost us out. We just need oh, to read it. Oh, bro. Um, anyways. Literally, it's so not wise. Like, it's not wise, but we learn. So we're just like, you know what? God promises us to have a good and abundant life, but he doesn't promise that things are going to be easy. And sometimes he allows us to experience hard things because in the crushing, in the pressing, wine is produced. Good wine. Is, it's like God prunes and he cuts away the bad parts of us because he wants us to become... Hi guys, I haven't vlogged in a minute, but we are at um, an art gallery somewhere downtown. I have no clue exactly where it is, but it was supposedly an 18 minute walk, but it was actually like 50. It was just eight. Mm -hmm. It was 18 minutes. No, it took 50 minutes to apply. It was actually 18 minutes. 
<laughs> no. Anyways, so we've been. Just felt like, like it was fifty. I don't know what's wrong with this. Nah, it was such a long walk. Um, I'm so hungry now though, and I'm kind of like tired. But we're waiting for Dorian's phone to charge so that we can get going to a cafe. Um, yeah, that's the vibe. I don't know what it's up with me today, guys. I just feel very like, mm, like stuff feels very anticlimactic, you know. I'm trying to, you know, when you're trying to, yeah, you know, when you're trying to ignore but something. She doesn't claim that in Jesus' name. Yeah. She don't. We don't claim bad energy. We don't claim anticlimactic. Cause do you know who is sitting around and is gonna capture that idea? The enemy. We it's don't let true. him do stuff like that. Cause then your whole day is gonna do that. So rebuke yeah, that now, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen. I will have fun, and my joy comes from the Lord, not from circumstances. Cause I feel like that is the ma major lesson I'm having to take away from this holiday. My joy comes from the Lord, not circumstances. Uh -huh. But yeah just wait for the phone to charge a little bit and then we'll go to a cafe and read our yeah. books i'm supposed to, i'm supposed to be looking for the cafe but my day uh, is like so terribly bad that like it's taking like five minutes to load stuff yeah so it is really beautiful here though like downstairs we saw a lot of like biblical art and it was just cool to see you know stories that you read or hear about in art form it's like, obviously, those people didn't look exactly like that, but it's just, you know, cool for your imagination to come to life. That's what I love about art. It was in someone's mind until they brought it out using different mediums. Okay, bye guys. I'll update you later. Hi guys, so we're now at the coffee shop. This is why my order. I can't even see it. But yeah, I'm gonna read this book. I'm obsessed with it. In my book, it's called Fractured Diamond by Elaine. Yeah. We're trying to get really into good. Christian like books. By yeah. Christian authors because I'm not trying to read no smut out here, but this is our view. Incredibly cute. So let's check it out. It is on Apple Books. Yeah. It's, really good. it's called Saltine, I think. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about the cafe, but... Hi guys, I literally have not vlogged today because my storage was full. The most annoying thing is full storage, like Apple, if you can hear me, you are so unfair. You are so unfair with your storage. So yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look, there's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, yeah. So as I was saying, it rained so badly, bro. To the point where we were hysterically laughing because if I didn't laugh, I was going to cry. It's like this holiday has been feeling like it's like a drag. Like a drag. Because we're in an empty city or town where you actually can't do anything. Ghost town. Yeah, ghost town practically because it's not summer yet. And everybody that we see, everybody keeps saying, oh, you're, you're a few months early, you arrived at the wrong time. Or they just know that we're here on holiday and it's embarrassing. If it's felt embarrassing because it's like... It's not even the season. It's like since we arrived here, everyone's just questioning why we're here at this time because it's not the time. But yeah, so it's raining at the beach. Like, you know when it, you're drenched in rain, soaked in rain, and we're just sat there laughing because we actually don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> what do you do? Um, and we wanted, we were thinking about going home, but then we kind of just sat through it and like, you know, making jokes and stuff. I even started making a TikTok of it raining at the beach. And before you knew it, the rain stopped and the sun came out and it was so beautiful. The and water. We took loads of TikToks. We did. Like, it was actually lovely. Um, so I was saying, now I'm home. I'm going to have a nap. Maybe read. I'm safe with you. I'm going to make it through. Oh, I'm gonna make it through Cause I'm standing strong on you I'm gonna make it through It's my birthday in Greece and no, Dorian has a present to surprise me with Oh, I should probably cover it Okay, let me tell you who this is from So this okay. is from me to more this What? Me to more <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's more. What the heck? I'm Praveenin, I think. Wait, yeah. what the heck? 
Guys, I've just found out that this present is from Vish. Multiple people. What the Vish. heck? Tomo, Doyen, and wait, I'm gonna need like scissors. Oh, what could this be? You know, I have no clue what this could be. She made us pancakes because we asked her to. I think half this has to do with God, to be honest. Because when did we ask the baked beans? No, no, no. Anyway. And then, God, God, guys, they gave good. us baked beans, and like before we asked, they were like, oh, they don't have baked beans. But I think they went out and bought it after we spoke about the breakfast to them yesterday. And thank you so much, God, for my pancakes. We moved outside. She's bringing the food. Ew, not the flag. Get away from my food, you <laughs> monkey. Oh my gosh, now I realized I forgot my salad. Chichas. Um, yeah, this is the view. It's actually so pretty. <laughs> Ignore the fact that the pool's like not full, but the seating area outside is so nice. Guys, we are at the beach. It's so pretty, guys. If you remember from the vlog yesterday, I don't even remember if I vlogged it when it was raining. God's literally been showing up for me this entire morning. Like he said, it's my girl's birthday. He said, it's my girl's birthday. I really gotta show up. And he showed up, up and out. Like, look at this sunshine. Look at this beautiful beach. I'm actually so blessed. Hey guys, I'm enjoying my best life in this beach, yeah? She really it's is. Giving. It is giving. So we're about to take some photos to really max it up, you know? To get that content, get the content. Ah, it's so nice. Guys, I changed into a bikini with a cover up, of course, because we want to be modest. We want to be modest, even though there's literally like nobody on the beach. It's an empty beach, but still. Guys, guys, guys yes. I'm all rest. I'm rest. I'm dressed for my birthday. Guys, I'm going to have to add some clips in because I literally did not vlog after I put the camera down. I look cute, but y'all can't even see because I just, I've not been vlogging. It's so rude. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Like, ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Why do I look like that? <laughs> Hey guys. This is, maybe my camera's dirty actually. And your camera's always dirty. Hello, what are you trying to say about me? See, it's not my, my camera being dirty, it's generally just bad lighting. It's bad lighting. Do you want me to hold the camera? Yeah, you can hold the camera. Hey guys. Okay, camera, wait. camera. I'm nah, telling you, real. it's not. I think your camera was dirty. I don't think my camera was dirty. Hey like, guys, guys, no. we're waiting for the bus right now. We are. We've been sat for 30 minutes, right? Because we've missed like the past two bosses, and I was just like, I'm not going in because I had to walk down the hill out of the hotel <laughs> in these heels, and everyone was looking at me. Everyone so, was yeah, we can't at go me. back. And then the oh, lady in the reception booked like a reservation for us, and we literally are so late. I think yeah. she kind of knows, but yeah, we can't go back because it's like we need her to think what we're eating right now. Like, I feel bad because yeah. it's gonna make the I'm reservation. A do you know what I mean? And, like, we're missing that. Like, yeah. Right. Um, what was I gonna say? Also, guys, um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. Oh, yeah, we're waiting for the bus. Did <laughs> I, I say you already said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This outfit isn't given yet because, like, it's cold. So, like, this is, like, the outfit. But under is given body. So, like, it do you know what I mean? It is given body. <laughs> Stand up, guys. This is like what the real lighting is given. Bye, guys. Love you. Hi, guys. Me again. We're now at the airport. Um, Horseview Airport. I don't know why she's looking at me like that. But, um, yeah. But literally, in the airport, that's literally all I came to tell you that we're on our way home. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I just feel like Horseview is a bit disrespectful. Because why is it the moment that we're leaving that the weather decides that 
the sun wants to say hi it wants to say hello like it's actually hot outside guys it's hot and in our hotel they were putting up the beach chairs you know they even moved us at breakfast i didn't vlog breakfast but they moved us to a different like you know the main breakfast room even though i like the other one better it's just like i feel like the sun and the summer is saying hello in corfu but we're saying goodbye to corfu it's just like i'm still grateful anyways that i got to go on the holiday um it was nice it was chill like as much as i love it i also like can't wait to go home as well because i uh, only have a limited time at home before i have to go back to school so everything i don't know i'm grateful for everything yeah even guys you know i'm trying a new thing where when i want to complain about something i just say the best possible thing i can think of that thing so yeah oh that's so nasty i'm sorry hey guys <laughs> we're on the way home people um yeah that's all i'm saying we're holding off right now but we're entering by we'll 